Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Sophie and today is a really exciting day because we're starting a new a new series on this channel. We're not starting a new channel, we're starting a new series on this channel and it's going to be about writing my book. So writing my novel, a fantasy novel and yeah, um, if this is the first video of mine you've stumbled across, hello, um, I work full time and then I also care for my mum, but I've loved writing since I was a very, very small child. Um, if you're interested in my journey, my writing journey, I will put it up here. I think it's here actually it doesn't matter. Um, so I will put it in the card up above um, and you can watch that if you're interested in learning about kind of how I got to this point which is me trying to start my novel from scratch. Yeah I guess I want to tell you a little bit about my novel. It's, it's hard because I definitely want to try and finish this book with the aim of publishing it in one, in one way or another. So I obviously don't want to give you too much information because it needs to be exciting and hopefully one day you might be able to read this. So um, it's a fantasy novel. Um, it's kind of like a journey type, like physical journey type tale with like royalty and oh yeah it's like I know when you're querying and stuff you're meant to say like comp titles so like comparison titles and I've been thinking about this like what do I think my story would be similar to and the only thing I could think of was like an, an adult version of Narnia but without all like the religious connotations if that makes sense um it's yeah I really I, to be fair, I haven't read enough like modern recent books um, because I'm in a bit of a reading slump. Um, so I need to read more fantasy so I know what's similar to it. But yeah, that's, that's probably as much as I want to say at this point. Um, so today I am trying to get organised really. Um, so I've made the decision, if, you're, if you haven't watched that video and can't be bothered to go and watch it, Basically, I've been trying to write this book for about 10 years now, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Um, and I got to varying points of it and then scrapped it and restarted it. Um, last year, I actually lost the manuscript and all of my notes because of a software issue. Back up your novel, people. <laughs> this is your reminder. Um, so I've started a couple of times but I only got a couple of chapters in each time I've started since that happened and I'm really determined to actually make progress this time and hopefully finish a draft and I think I'd like to finish a draft before the end of the year that's what I've said on my goals for 2024 um I had planned to start writing this draft a bit earlier in the year uh but life happens <laughs> so I am um, gonna start it now it's the end of July this will be going up in August so yeah kind of a summer I did try and do Camp Manorimo and I just didn't have time to write at the beginning of the month and then it kind of just fell away so um yeah we're gonna try and do some writing up until NaNoWriMo which is in November and then hopefully do the bulk of the writing probably the middle and end of the book in Na in November that's my goal. I just like to have a draft by Christmas. That's my goal. Um, so yeah, what I want to do is figure out what word goal I'm aiming for because I know different genres and different age groups have different word count goals, word counts uh, in their novels. Um, so obviously middle school, young adult is usually shorter than adult fantasy and fantasy is usually longer than like romance or something like this it's, it's a bit complicated to me um but I don't know much about it so I'm going to do some research and see if I can figure out what my word count should be for a novel like this and yeah let's have a look
Okay, I've been looking, I've been doing some research. Um, everyone seems to have a different opinion on this, but I've seen one which says, it's by selfpublishing.com, selfpublishingschool.com, sorry. Um, and I like the way they've written this. So it says, word count for fantasy novels, 50,000 to 150,000 words. Um, the average fantasy novel should have between 50 and 150,000 words. However, the true word count depends on the category in which you're writing. So if you're writing young adult, you should keep it below 90,000 words. Or if you're writing an adult fantasy novel or an epic fantasy novel, your word count can skew higher at 90,000 to 200,000 words. So the reason I'm interested in this is because I always write really concisely. I really struggle making my words count. Like I've written a draft of this book that was like 30,000 words. <laughs> I was just like, this happened, then this happened, then this happened, the end. Um, so... I, yeah, that's why I'm really interested in this. So I think I'm going to aim for 90,000 words. So towards the lower end of the spectrum. And then I guess if I get an editor or something and, you know, this is all really far down the line. But if I'm thinking that way, then hopefully they'll be able to be like, you need to add depth here and rather than cutting everything out, uh, they can be like, you need to develop this area. So I think we're going to aim for 90,000 words. So what is, so I'm going to say we're going to start in August. Yeah. So August, September, October, November, December. So we've got five months. So I know I could do this in my head probably, but 90,000 divided by five is 18,000 words a month. I'm not going to lie, I, I, I didn't think it would be that much. <laughs> that is more than I was planning on doing in my head. Okay, 18,000 words. So obviously in NaNoWriMo, you could write 50,000 words. Let's do two lots of this. I've got, um, I've got a brand new notebook. I hope you like it. It's from W.H. Smith, um, if you do. <laughs> and I'm going to write down, so my goal is 90,000 words. So I'm gonna write down two scenarios. So scenario one is if I spread out the writing over the five months. So that makes it monthly 18,000 words. And then divide that by four. So 4,500 words a week. <laughs> That's a lot of words uh, when you're working full time and have other responsibilities um, and you don't write very well. <laughs> um, okay, scenario two is if I successfully complete, sorry, uh, NaNoWriMo and I write 50,000 in November, 50,000 words in November. So that leaves me with 40,000 words to be spread, 40,000 words to be spread over four months. Oh, so that's 10,000 a month. So other four months equals 10,000. So that means weekly would be 2,500. She doesn't need the calculator for that bit. Um, okay, so I like scenario two because that means weekly I have to write 2,000 words less. However, November, am I going to be able to write 50,000 words? Let me look. November, what days have I got off? I've got two days off, but we're going on a day trip and we are decorating. It might be difficult, but I'm going to aim. This is my NaNoWriMo already announcement video. We're going to aim for NaNoWriMo um, this year and we're going to hit 50,000 words. So that means that from next week, I need to be writing 2,500 words a week to get this draft done. 
<laughs> that's quite exciting. Um, it's nerve wracking, but exciting. So what am I going to do next? I'm going to write, oh, I'm going to make a writing schedule, um, I think. And I'm going to go into my calendar for this. I was going to show you my calendar, but it's got stuff in here I don't want you to see. So I'm not going to show you it. Um, but I think I'm going to sit here and do my calendar for August and put in all my writing sessions, all my gym sessions, because that's another series I'm doing. If you're interested, I'm trying to lose weight, so go and watch that series. Um, and just work, other day-to-day -day activities and tasks and appointments and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna sit and do that and then I will come back to you. Hello, I'm back. Um, I've just gone through listening to a bit of Taylor um, and I've gone through my calendar. It's seriously one of my favourite things to do every month, um, just to go and plot when I'm doing this stuff. So I have gone from next week, which is the 1st of August on the Thursday. So I've got writing, I've got my gym sessions, I've got my filming sessions, I've got my work. <laughs> Why did that come forth? <laughs> I've got my work sessions. Just everything that's coming up in August is on my calendar. So I'm very excited, I'm very organised. Um, in terms of writing specifically though, at the moment I've got a writing session. I've got three next week in August. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six the week after, it's basically every day. I've got four the week after that. I've got five the week after that. I've got five the week after that. So in theory, if I write like 500 words to a thousand words session, I can do this no problem. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my calendar sorted. What next? Right, I have decided I need to tidy this bit of my desk because I want to do some writing today because I'm now like in the mood or at least do some prep work today. So I need to tidy this mess of a desk. I've got like stuff for the era's tour on here. I've got nail polishes also for the era's tour. Um, welcome to the era's tour. Uh, I've got my old camera on here, my old tripod. I've got paperwork for literally everything going on in my life. Um, I've got a mini deodorant. I think I took that out of my bag and I forgot to put it back in and it's just been sat there for weeks. <laughs> so I'm gonna do some tidying and then hopefully we can get some writing done. This is what we're dealing with. Um, I've left that pile of paperwork for another day because I've only got so much energy. Um, so I've cleaned everything, got all my camera bits here, just jump my up, jump <laughs> I've dumped my notebooks up there, but I'm about to bring them down. And yeah. I've just realised one of the bits of paperwork I've put up here is something I actually need now. <laughs> Let's find it, shall we? It's in here, I think. So I printed out, I printed out um, my chapter by chapter plan for this draft, this iteration of the book. Oh, thank you. You don't need to look at me. Good girl. And I've also written out a book by book plan because this is plan. My plan is for this to be a series. So I've already written up my chapter by chapter plan. So I think I'm going to spend the rest of the morning writing up the new book by book plan. 
Do you want to say hello? Lily, you going to say hello? Over here. <laughs> Good girl. You going to get off me? Good girl. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to write up the chapter, the book by book plan. And let's just get into it. Okay, I've just written up all of my book notes for, the, for future books. I found that really helpful because as much as I need to focus on the, writing the first one first, obviously, um, I need to know where I'm aiming to get to with these characters and the story and the, just the overall plot that what's gonna happen, um, kind of how everyone's gonna grow and develop and physically in the story what's going to happen and uh, um, building on everything. So yeah, it was a really good exercise for me to do. I've just gone through and read through my outline for book one as well, so I know exactly what's hopefully happening in which parts. Um, and the thing I want to do now, I've actually got a Pinterest board for this project. I'm not going to show it to you because it's got a lot of spoilers, potentially. Um, but I need to think of a better name for my, like, a working title or, like, a project title. Because at the moment, I don't really have one. And it's really upsetting me. <laughs> um, I have, oh, I think I might know what, an idea that would be cute to do because of sorry i'm 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 googling and i'm talking to you and it's not working um so let me just have a think what i want to do and i will come back to you momentarily <laughs> Okay, as I was talking to you, I started thinking about something I just read in the chapter by chapter plan and how that was quite a large part of the story and it kind of made me think about other things that it was associated with that and I come up with my project name because I think it's going to be like a motif of the series. So would you like to know my fantasy project name? Drum roll please. <laughs> It's called Project Moonstone, and that's the first time I've ever said that out loud, and I'm so excited. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm going to start writing. When is my next writing session? Um, My first, well, my next writing session is meant to be tomorrow afternoon, so I don't know if I'm going to do it tomorrow afternoon or Tuesday morning. But, yeah, I'm so excited to get started now. Um, but I have run out of time for today. Uh, other than that, welcome to Project Moonstone. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this little video and I hope you I enjoy, well, I hope you're looking forward to going on this journey with me. If you're also an author or a writer or want to be, just comment and leave me a comment down below telling me maybe what your project code name is or something like that and yeah I'm just so excited to be going on this journey I feel like today's been really productive and it's given me lots of motivation and I'm really enthusiastic to get started so thank you so much for watching this video I love you all lots and lots and I will see you later my pumpkins <laughs> bye